Take a look at Quintana's numbers brought to you by the Pennsylvania Lottery. They are very good numbers. ERA actually pushed up quite a bit though of uh, of late. Last couple of starts have not gone uh, very well. Miguel Rojas will lead off for the Marlins tonight. Miggy batting 241 with six homers and 22 runs batted in. First pitch and one out. As he's looking young tonight, a strikeout of Fortes. And then he strikes him out on the curveball. A couple of K's for Quintana in the first. A 10 pitch first inning. So for Meyer, a loss on Saturday afternoon against the Phillies. Five and a third innings. He gave up seven hits, five runs, although a couple of runs came in after he had left the ball game. Still put on his ledger, but some good, some maybe not so good, but as you might expect, there will be growing pains along the road here. And Max Meyer works out of the windup off the first base side of the rubber. First pitch swinging is Newman. A high pop up foul territory. First base side of the diamond. On comes Jesus Aguilar. And just like Jose Quintana, Max Meyer has himself one pitch and one out here in the first. One ball and two strikes now to Allen. Swing and a miss. Terrific pitch from Max Meyer for his first strikeout here tonight. Last night just two hits. One of them of course from Keith Brian Hayes who has kept his hitting streak going up to nine games now. Three balls and no strikes here to Hayes and that's taken outside a four pitch walk and uh, we've got the training staff going out to check on Max Meyer after that walk. Max is walking off the mound. Well we'll take a peek back and see if there was anything here. This was the the last pitch that he threw which was ball four to Key Brian Hayes. Grimace and then he motioned to the dugout to come out. We just got word from the club right elbow discomfort. Numbers on Zach Pop 13 games so far this season pretty good out of the bullpen ERA of 240. Shift on to the right side for Gamble open stance from the left side. Here's the 0 1 pitch swing at a ground ball. High hopper for Wendell. They throw out Gamble the inning is over. The side is retired. One two swing and a miss breaking ball from Jose Quintana. That's his third punch out six up six down. No oh, Yoshi's hitting just 162 in 10 games this month. A 30 year old out of Japan steps in with the man in scoring position. First pitch swing and ground ball to Aguilar at first has it an underhand toss the to pop covering the bag and the inning is over. The put out goes three to one. It was Rojas who had the RBI double last night that snapped the franchise record tying scoreless streak at 37 innings. Long pause, 3 2 pitch, and a ground ball to Cruz. Backhand flips to second, one to first. They turn the double play. Yep, zip, zap, kazoo. The Buckos just turn two. How about an infield hit for a pirate catcher? That's smart hitting. Hit past third, trickling into left. Heineman gets to third. Newman's in with a double. Nobody out. Allen batting. Nance pitching. Three balls and two strikes to count. Nance out of the stretch. Here's the pitch. Allen watches. Called strike three. Over the outside corner. Wow, that's gutsy. A 3-2 curveball for the first out of the inning. No balls and one strike to count to the young Pirates. Hot shot third baseman. Here's the pitch. Hayes swings and hits a high chopper towards the mound. Nance has it. Throws to the plate in time. Yes! Oh, the Pirates might want to take a look at this one. So it looks like the Pirates are going to challenge the call. They'll need the evidence to overturn it, but we'll get our first look at it right here. Brax, hold on one sec. Yeah, I, I thought for sure from up here, I thought he was safe. Ooh, but he slid into the foot, so we'll have to see what it may be. But let's see right here in this slow replay. That might be tough to overturn. That might be a call stands. I don't know where you're at on that. There's no violation, and the call stands. The runner's out. Pirates lose their challenge. One, two from Nance. Swing and a miss. He'll throw down to Furl. He stepped on home plate, so it's a strikeout nonetheless, and Nance works himself into and out of trouble. Got him to chase and struck him out. Jose Quintana delivers, and this ball's bounced to second. Up with it is Newman. He throws to second. For the out, and the play goes 4-3, and the Marlins leave a pair. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. It is the Marlins nothing, Pirates nothing. Tsutsugo grounds it out to first and the second. First pitch he sees, he lines it. Aguilar makes the catch and <laughs> stops on the bag. Inning over. Line drive double play that goes three unassisted. And a base hit into right field. 
De La Cruz is aboard to start the fifth inning. In the air, right field. Cal Mitchell sizing up the first out. So one on and one out now for Jacob Stallings, who in his return to Pittsburgh tonight singled the other way to the opposite field in the third. Here's the pitch. Bounce toward third, backing up on that last hop. Hayes throw to second for one, on to first. There it is, double play. Around the horn she goes. Jose Quintana, five shutout innings. We go to the bottom of the fifth. It remains Miami zero, Pittsburgh zero. Next pitch to Cabrian Hayes, weakly hit ground ball right side. Wendell backs up on the outfield grass, fields and fires. And the inning is over. So Richard Blyer works two really nice, efficient, quick innings out of the bullpen for Miami. The 2-0 pitch. And this hit in the air to center. Greg Allen comes in several steps, and Allen is there to make the catch. And Ben Gamble strikes a base hit off the latest reliever, Tanner Scott. Starting off the sixth. Behind on Mitchell here. On the ground. Past the drawn in Anderson. And the Pirates have the first two men on here in the sixth. Two lefties getting hits off Scott. Yoshi Tsutsugo hit one of the harder balls of the night with the runner at first base, one out in the fourth inning. There's a base hit for Tsutsugo. Gamble scores. Cruz takes third. And Yoshi comes through, giving the Pirates the first run of the game. And the batter is Joey Wendell. Pitch bounced toward first and fielded fair ball. Chavis, oh, what a play. Steps on the bag and throws to Cruz. The shortstop takes the throw and tags Garcia out easily. And once again, the Pirates turn a double play behind Jose Quintana. Garrett Cooper is going to pinch hit for Luke Williams. And now Cooper is hit by the pitch on that right wrist it looked like and he is down in a heap of pain in front of the Marlins dugout right in the same spot same that spot Fortes got hit the fastball sinking in he's starting that swing about the check swing and then gets hit right off the wrist and he's not Garrett Cooper's coming out of this ball game he's going to head to the x-ray room after being hit by a pitch so two on and two out it brings up Fortes and the three one and a pop up on the right side Chavis out. Newman calls for it. Newman makes the catch in shallow right field. And Will Crow gets the final out. Head to the bottom of the eighth inning. Pirates won Marlins. David Bednar, the All Star, on to try to close a 1 0 game here in the ninth. Struck him out. Back to the splitter and one out in the ninth. And that will bring up J.J. Bladé. The fourth overall pick by the Marlins in 2019 out of Vanderbilt. 3 2 pitch taken down low. We talked about the plate discipline. Certainly didn't seem antsy in the box. And the tying run is aboard. One and two on Avi Sayil Garcia. Struck him out. Now it's up to Joey Wendell. Joey Wendell on the ground to Newman. That's it. Pirates shut out the Marlins. And one run enough to raise it tonight.